All right, guys, we're going to start this week off with some loaded chips. So I'm just sauteing some onion, garlic, and some bacon in a fry pan that I'm going to dump over the chips that I already have seasoned and in the oven. So these are almost all the way cooked. I was getting a bit impatient. So I'm going to dump that on top, and it's some chicken that I sliced up. And then I threw the cheese on and she's gone back in the oven until she's all melted. And then we're going to throw some nacho cheese on. And I found some parmesan in the fridge that I threw on top as well. And some shallots or green onions. And how good does that look? This was really, really tasty. One of our favorites. Now, this is the next night. Hubby actually cooked but I couldn't have what they were having so he made me grilled chicken and I had the salad and the sweet potatoes that they had too. They were a little soggy the sweet potatoes but they were really good so very happy with that. I've got some potatoes on for mashed potato. I'm throwing some corn on. I've got some Yorkshire puddings that I'm putting into the oven now. Obviously, I didn't eat the Yorkshire puddings, but everybody else enjoyed them. And I just had mashed chicken and corn, and it was really good. All right, use it up, shelf temper meal. I grabbed out this half packet of pasta I have left over from the Aldi Fajilla Challenge. Uh, this tiny amount of gluten-free mac and cheese that I have in this jar that's been sitting there for ages because it's such an odd amount for me to use up. But I'm going to empty that today with a little bit of this. Gluten-free fusellini, there's about that much left in the box. So I'm going to dump that in and that, and we're going to make some pasta salad for lunch. I got the kids home from school because they're sick with flu-like symptoms. I haven't tested yet, but yeah. So we're going to do a pasta salad, and I'm going to do them one, which leftovers they can have tomorrow as well. And I'm going to do me one. And that's what we're going to do for our use it up meal today. While my pastas are cooking, I'm just dicing up some veggies. So I've got two Lebanese cucumbers, um, I think four of these really small trussed tomatoes, um, two spring onions, which I might cut up another one of those. I just got to go get it out of the fridge and an onion. Don't worry, I'm keeping all of the scraps, which are going to go into the veggie garden. And I think I might add some cheese because I'm feeling some cheese this week or today. So yeah, then I'm going to season all this, get the pasta out, get the pasta cooled down, and then I'm going to look at dressings. All right, so we've got gluten and gluten-free, two separate forks and everything. Um, I took out my salad, dumped it on top of my pasta in this one, left enough salad in here for them, and then I've just added their pasta in, so never of the two met. I'm going to add some Himalayan salt, some white ground pepper, maybe a little bit of oil. Um, trying to decide whether I want to do like a balsamic, uh, like a vinegary dressing, or I have this um, creamy mayonnaise, which I do have to use up, so I'm leaning more towards creamy mayonnaise. So we'll see. All right, there's mine. The big kids have theirs, and this is the babies. So this is what's left after they've had quite heaping serves, but the big one will probably come back for seconds because he's just bottomless. And I will probably come back for seconds later. And that's what I have left. And uh, something for scale. Here's my hand for scale. My fingers don't touch. It's a bad angle. <laughs> that's the size of the bowls. Here there is another is. lunch this uh, week. That's and how I have salad. I'm on really craving some Christmas, Christmas this is a broccoli baked table. salad. You could throw some potato, cranberries through there too. And I, I like threw that. Some cranberries and I made a and dressing. That's and for those of you who want to see him, there's my little man pulling everything out of the cupboard. And there is the creamy dressing. It was just mayo, a little bit of Dijon mustard, and some vinegar all mixed up. So I have a tangy, creamy dressing for my salad. I had this for lunch and then the rest was a side for dinner that night. And then we're doing a shiatsu pork with just some stir fried veg and some noodles. I have thick sweet potato noodles for mine, gluten free. And this is everybody's portion. Bubby's is the plastic one and hubby's Mr. Nine and Miss Five. And then mine's the one with the sweet potato noodles. I love the shiatsu pork from Aldi, but you can make it yourself too. It's good. And then the next night, again, I really wasn't feeling 
cooking. So I just did a veggie stir fry with sweet potato noodles for me and ramen noodles for everybody else. Really quick, easy. You've seen me make the Chinese white sauce a bunch of times on my channel. Super simple. You can check that out there. there. All right, nothing fancy for dinner tonight. The kids and hubby had some chocolate pancakes, which we do about maybe every two months or so as a bit of a treat for dinner. And on Saturdays, hubby cooks, so that's what they're having. But I roasted a chicken earlier, so I'm going to have a chicken thigh, leg, and a garlic aioli and chicken sandwich for my dinner because I'm not feeling too hungry. And I really just didn't want to cook anything separate. So that's my dinner for tonight. Super simple meal, just mash and veg and steak for me and hubby. And the kids are having breakfast for dinner with toast, scrambled eggs, and bacon and cheese. My kids don't like steak and they don't like butter on their toast. Really simple food tonight. I'm just doing a garlic herb grilled chicken. I steamed some carrots, some beans, and some peas. I then just quickly stir fried some bok choy in the chicken juices with a little bit of salt and pepper because I need to use up this bok choy. I had some leeks that needed to be used up, so I used made a potato and leek soup, which is over there, and then used a little bit of that soup with some cream cheese and some Dijon mustard to make a quick sauce. Salt, pepper, a little bit of sesame oil on the bok choy, and some shallots across the board. And the potato and leek soup will be either dinner tomorrow night or my lunch tomorrow, or both. <laughs> and I still have plenty of my sauce left. Sheet pan meal tonight. It is hot and not feeling well, so I've diced up some potatoes. I'm gonna throw some dice. We can do a Caesar salad, we can do our broccoli and bacon. Salt, pepper, paprika, threw some chorizo on top, baked that until it was golden brown, threw it all together, and it was so good. Just salt, pepper, paprika, didn't need anything else. The kids loved it, I loved it. I actually had seconds and so did my oldest boy. It was really good. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this kind of content. Let me know below and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.